Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Tisha Pelletier, author of What Are the Odds? Tisha, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Paul. Are you ready to get started? I am ready. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? For someone who's currently writing, I find that a lot of first time authors, they get really overwhelmed. I know I was overwhelmed even when writing my stories too. And I would always say, just take it little by little, you know, don't look at it as, ah, I have to finish all these chapters, but do it at your own pace and, and then it'll go from there. But journaling really helps, especially if you're trying to tell your own story as well. Sorry. Uh, (laughs) kid duty, right? They have the fun. <laughs> so, yeah. So just, uh, you know, making sure that you can go at it at your own pace so you're not overwhelmed. It's that whole, that whole thing of, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, right? It's not trying to take everything in and just overwhelming and then giving up on the project. Yeah, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Yes, absolutely. Like everything in life. Well, what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? About getting published, I think that a lot of a lot of people are just not sure of the process, so it can be quite daunting. But it it is a lot of that research and figuring out how to put it out there in the world, um, how to put your story out there, being vulnerable, but then also figuring out well, how do I market this? How do I get this in the hands of the people that I feel it can truly help? Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. So when I came out with What Are the Odds, one thing that I did was I was like, I'm going to celebrate this. I I really want to celebrate what I've accomplished. And so with that, I ended up um, having some book signing parties just to let people know that, hey, it's out. And even went to Costco, Paul, you'll laugh at this. And I went to Costco and I'm like, I'm going to buy myself a cake and I'm going to write a little message on it because I know that they do that. And I wrote on the cake, um, you did it, Tisha. And I was walking around Costco and people were like, that's so great that Tisha did it. What did she do? And I'm like, that's me. And I finished my book. Like it was so exciting for me. And from then on, like, I'm like, I'm going to celebrate every win that I have. And so being able to celebrate that you've accomplished this great task, you've put it out there in the world is such a huge accomplishment. So I had, I had actually two book launches you know, book signing parties. And, and it was just such a great experience to be able to bring the people, the supporters, the family, the friends who were then really the ambassadors of the book who are sharing, Hey, you have to meet this girl. You have to read her story. And that was by far great marketing, word of mouth marketing. I think that's great. I mean, that's one of the biggest things that you've got to celebrate the wins. And I love the fact that you did multiple book signings. So what are some of the strategies that you would give to our audience in regards to having those type of events? You know, setting up an event, it's it's truly pretty simple in my opinion. I think looking at a different, you know, looking at some different venues and having a relationship with, with the people that have those venues and really just nailing down the date. Um, and then from there, like I posted my event as an event on Facebook and started sharing it with my friends and family who were then inviting others to come join them. So it doesn't have to take a lot of time or money. It's just that strategy of, I really want to do this, you know, as a former event planner and even planning my events now, you need a venue and you need a date. And then the rest will really start to fall in place once you put it into action. Excellent. So how were you both of your book launch parties? How many people did you have? What type of theme did you have going for them? So the first one that I had was at an event, um, an event space. And I, I literally just catered the event. I had it as an evening event. And um, we had 
like 50, 50 to 60 people that attended that. And it was all through the evening, almost like an open house where we could take photos. I even had a sign that said, um, Tisha's epic book party. And that's how I created it. That's like the name that I gave this book event. And the next one was more a daytime event where I had it at this little cottage, food was provided, and it was just more of a, an open house as well during the day. But people could come in and I was doing some book readings and so forth. And people were just drawn to that story. So it's a great way to be able to connect your audience when they can meet you face to face. Well, let's talk about your favorite book. So what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? So my favorite book was given to me by a good friend when I was telling her a little bit about like what I was doing for business. She suggested I read the book, The Go-Giver and love the book, The Go-Giver. There's several more in the series that I still need to read, but was really about like we've talked about before about being your authentic self and having this servant heart of being able to help support and serve people without expecting anything in return. And it was just so laid out nicely. And, you know, I was like, this is the book. And every time I do a speech, I always have them handy. <laughs> I'm always like, you have to read this. This is about genuine connection, which is something I feel so strongly and passionate about, too. Well, we were talking about that before the show, too, about networking and networking correctly. And that's one of the biggest things is being authentic, being real, be willing to help other people with not expecting anything. But of course, the funny thing is, a lot of these things do come back in a great way, but you're not doing it for the expectation. You're doing it just to do the right thing and to help people. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And and like we were talking about earlier, things just fall into place. Like it's, you said a great thing that I also say too, but it's plant the seeds, plant the seeds. My rendition of it is plant the seeds and see where it leads. Yep. You know, but it, it's not this hurry up and let's go. It's no, I'm going to plant the seeds and I'm going to nurture this relationship and it is going to start to grow, you know, but so many of us want this instant gratification. And I think that's where a lot of us fall short. It's like, if you take the time and you nurture the relationship, then you will see it grow in abundance. You know, more things will come to you as you just keep putting yourself out there and helping people in the process. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? I have so many favorite quotes, uh, but I want to share this one with you. It's from Brad Henry, and it says, Believe in yourself, and the rest will fall into place. Have faith in your own abilities. Work hard, and there is nothing you cannot accomplish. And why is that my favorite quote? Because I am... I am one of those serial entrepreneurs, go-getters, ambitious. I have a lot of really great ideas, but they don't do anything just sitting in my head. <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of us will go, I have great ideas, but I don't do anything. Like for me, I'm like, no, no, no. If I have an idea, you better believe I'm going to put my skill set to use and get it out there. And if I fail, I fail, but at least I tried and, you know, I gave it my best and some of them work and some of them I'm like, okay, le you know, lesson learned. Well, Tisha, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Sure. So I am um, at tishamarie.com. That is my personal branded website. And then people can also find me at LinkedIn, um, just under my name, Tisha Marie Pelletier, to connect with me. Tisha, thank you once again for being on the show. And I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Paul. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business Book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com.